My name is Danny Starley. I'm with Midstate RV, and this is the 2012 Work and Play 25 UDT. It's the Ultra Line Series, so it's half ton towable. Just going to tell you a little bit about it. Right here, this unit actually does have the onboard fueling station. This is where you put the fuel for that. This is your plug for your shoreline. If, you got, if you're going somewhere that has power hookup, cable hookup, if you're going somewhere that's not going to have power or water hookup, this is where you fill your fresh water tank, right here. It's the outdoor shower. Work and Play is the number one selling towable toy hauler on the market. You got two 30 pound LPT, LP tanks, stabilizer jacks, you got four, you got two up front, you got two in the back little power outlet for you. You got about a 20 foot awning here. You've also got two marine grade outdoor speakers. Heavy duty 5200 pound axles right here. And if you look, these bolts through here are million mile bolts. I only find that in tractor trailers and on working plays. It's heavy duty built. It's got a 3,500 pound towing capacity on this particular unit. And here's the outdoor fueling station I was showing you on the other side. This is where the pump is. You can fuel up your four wheelers, golf carts, motorcycles, whatever you want to put in there. This here is a vent for the, out, for the inside, keep the fumes down. Now what you see in working plays that you don't see in other manufacturers, other manufacturers are a little bit higher up. The working plays have a little bit lower transition, so it's a little easier to get motorcycles and really your toys in the back. The ramp door's down. Working play uses what's called Lexor, which is a lot like the Rhino line you find in the bed liners of trucks. They put three coats on here. They go side to side, long ways, and diagonal, so you don't ever have to worry about anything like that messing up. It's a real non-slip. I mean, my feet are wet right now. It's real sturdy material. Also comes with a little pull-down screen here. Keep the bugs out. Up here's where your gauge is to let you know how much fuel you'll have at one time in your fueling station. You got some switches here for your lights. Another uh, GFI outlet there. As you can see, You've got a lot of storage space back here in the cargo area. You could probably fit two, three four-wheelers, a golf cart, a couple motorcycles, really whatever you wanted, as long as you stayed under the 3,500-pound limit. Got a TV here on a swing arm. Comes with a DVD, CD player. Kind of watch it however you want to. You've got speakers in the living area back here in the kitchen. You've got four back here, and you've got two in the bedroom. You got a six foot cube, uh, six cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. It's gas or electric, so if you're going somewhere, you want to fill it up, you can have it run off your LP tanks, so your food don't go bad. You got a three three burner stove top here, and down here you've got a convection microwave, which means you can heat stuff up, you can brown stuff, you can cook biscuits. Anything you can do in an oven, you can do it. It's all in one kind of deal there. You got a lot of storage up here. Two bowl sink. Your water heater is gas or electric. Here's the switch for that. You got a ducted AC. This is a 15,000 BTU, which is a little bit of an upgrade. Most of your other manufacturers only use a 13.5. This is a 15,000 BTU not going to have any trouble cooling this thing off. It's also got the insulated roof. Got a little more storage here. I mean, it's got tons and tons of storage. Right here, once you get all your bikes and stuff out, you want to kind of get ready to go to bed. You've got this here, which is a dinette that also makes into a bed. Got your two little legs here. Actually, three. This unit will sleep five comfortably. If you want to sleep more, you probably can, but 
set up to sleep five. This is a bed here, or you can flip it up like this, and you've got a little dinette. That's how it's set up. Now over here, this is where you keep your table. It's kind of out of the way. It's a nice little setup for it. To use it, all you got to do is come over here, pick it up. It's real simple. So you go from having a bed to a little dinette here. You can leave this as a as a dinette so you don't have to make it up all the time. Got a little flip down bed here. And as you can tell just by looking at the bottom, this is heavy duty. Sleep a couple there. They really did utilize all the space in here. You've also got three sets of two so I guess six total D-rings for tying down motorcycles, four-wheelers, whatever. To keep them secure, I guess. And here you got the bathroom. A lot of the other manufacturers use the small showers. You can't hardly turn around in them. You got plenty of room in here. I'm 5'10". I still got plenty of headroom here. I kind of like the curtain personally, it gives you a little more freedom, you're not, I mean I'm a little claustrophobic myself, but this, this doesn't bother me at all. You toilet here and you've got an exhaust fan right above the toilet, it's a perfect place for it. They took the sink and put it outside the bathroom, give you a little more space. You don't get claustrophobic in there trying to brush your teeth and everything, it's separate, I like how they've done that. And back here. You got a little pocket door here for a little privacy. Big queen size bed also comes with two pillows and a comforter. You got a lot of storage all the way around. And a big wardrobe here with a couple drawers here. Underneath here, if you wanted to put a TV in the in the bedroom, you got your cable outlet and a and a plug here, so you can put your little wall mount here and watch TV back here. Right here, it's another vent like I showed you outside. You can open up this one and open up the one in the back and get a little airflow through here and cut down on the fumes while you're traveling. Again, my name is Danny Starley. I'm with Midstate RV, and this is the 25 UDT Work and Play. If this is something you might be interested in, come by, call, send me an email. I'd love to help you out in any way I can.